The term sonography is something that grew up in Russia, but the basic principle is that there's one person that's in charge of the setting, the lighting, and the costumes. I think if you look at too parochially at one area, that you're not actually solving the problem of the play. I start to think about costumes as moving scenery. I think about the character of the set, the uh, personality of the lights. Having the chance to do all of those things and be responsible for the total look of the show, I liked it a lot. I learned a lot. It makes you a better all-around designer. And if you have multiple talents, it makes you much more marketable. The choices that we make can be so important. Hence, away! Either speak to something that is honest about the show or be totally get in the way of the show. I didn't step into a costume shop and now costume design is like one of my stronger areas. I was a little nervous coming back to school because I'd never designed costumes, never really even had interest in them. And now as I'm looking towards my first project, I, I start noticing costumes and films and I say, oh, that's a nice dress. And my wife's like, what'd you say? You have a heightened awareness of how the elements work together. Sometimes less is more. You get to make that decision yourself, with the director, of course, and sometimes more is more. The clocks here in the castle? The 13 clocks! The clocks here in the castle! 13 clocks was probably my favorite realized show because I got to do lighting and costumes for it, and it was in a small space, small cast. There were a lot of challenges to it. You know, with every design, there's something I could have done better, but I, I was happiest with it out of all my other shows. I actually designed this set right after a study abroad trip that I took with uh, KU to Greece. It was a really awesome opportunity to be able to uh, design in the black box. It got selected, which means that I am able to go to the Prague Quadrennial. As a student, being selected for the Prague Quadriennial is quite an honor. I mean, if you are up there with nine other schools uh, in the United States, that's good company. Street Scene was a very interesting experience because there was a guest director and communicating with him while he was in New York for the first couple weeks and all the different directors has been a great experience because you know, from a professor who's more about theory to a guest director to another graduate student to a professor who's more about movement. Working with many different types of directors has been a huge learning curve for me. Each director has a different way of thinking of the work. Each director has a different way of working. Well, you know, I'd been designing out of school for 25 years and acting and working as a technical director and designer, and I learned so much. And I realized that I really needed to go back to school and learn more. Keep your trap shut, Tommy, keep your head on Tommy. The set was a huge pain in a lot of ways, and it was an amazing gift in a lot of ways. Ultimately, it ended up being more gift than pain. She did the lighting, and I designed the setting. And we were working together as fellow artists. We wanted to highlight the, the violence of the world that these people live in. And so lighting through the bars in the set provided this very stark landscape and background for the action to take place in. 
We have moving lights, which is huge. Learning how to program moving lights is a big deal. We have brand new, basically top of the line, lighting consoles. So the program not only honed my design interests, but also gave me the teaching experience that I wanted, helped me really focus on what I do want. It's been really helpful looking for jobs, saying that I've had three years of teaching experience. By the time I leave the program, I know I'll be prepared to step into any theater situation.